Before we get into the chaos of a Big Ashes series, we've got a couple of one days to take on. The Kiwis in. We're captained by Josh Phillippe in this sort of a series, and we'll uh, see how we go. Just uh, the five wickets to the team so far. Five for 150, the scoreline. It's Rachin Ravindra doing his best at the moment. He's... Uh, What's he on? 36 from 43. So, he's not, he's not doing his best. He could be doing better than that. Step it at the other end. And this is uh, looking like quite a slow sort of a pitch. Very green top. That's in the air. That'll be all the way. Or out. It's out. I thought that was going. We've got the wicket of Ravindra. I can't believe that. Six for 151. Had to be close to the boundary. Oh, Fraser McGurk. Jeez, he was about to step over there and he stopped himself. Yeah, that is a handy early wicket for me. Oh, it's, it's going down. You can see where his pad is. He's well and truly outside the line. Edged and taken. There's another one. That's two wickets for me. Jesus, is Kevin Dunn cutting these cameras? That's ridiculous. Uh, another wicket. That's two. That's two. Lovely stuff. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh. A little bit of turn there as well. 7.159. Edge, a little thin, a little thin edge. Yes, it is out. Big collapse, wicket three. New Zealand, eight down. Sort of a real toe edge action. I've got three for six from three overs. Pretty ridiculous numbers, isn't it? Edge, another one. There's four. What's going on? Four for six in an ODI game. No, oh, we didn't end up getting five, but we've got a chance with the bat. Three for 70 after 13 overs. The team absolutely flying. Wickets, the only thing that could potentially harm our uh, chance of winning here. Flowish pitch. Yep. Yeah, mate. Should we one? Oh, whips. There's a man out there, but I think I've got it all the way for six. And whipped again, this time over mid-wicket. The same result of six. Oh, now it's down the ground. That's huge! Over the back fence. Just some genuine half volleys at the moment. That was 120 metres, that's six. Three in the over so far. Can we make it four? Oh, it's pulled away, unfortunately. It's just a boundary. 22 from the over and that's behind square and that'll be four again make it 26 from the over that is gonna be one more boundary to end the over three sixes and three fours 30 runs off the over oh that's got away and that's in the gap will it beat the fielder in the deep it does another boundary at the moment I cannot be stopped I think I've hit seven boundaries in a row. 37 from 12 now. And I'm out. <laughs> so, so I can be stopped. There it is. This ball just straightened beautifully from Rachin Ravindra. Going to work it away to the onside. And it's hit the halfway up middle. Going for 37. Four for one. One four. Australia uh, don't lose another wicket. It's all over. Six wicket result. On a game two. Surprisingly, I've never taken a five-wicket haul in a one-day game. That four for seven I just took in the previous match was my best ODI figures. Uh, game two of the ODIs after we smashed New Zealand in the first one. They got a much better score. Hooking here. Two for one, two, five. Wait on it. Right away. Edge down a boundary. Wentworth will get away with one there. Yep. Catch it. Ah, oh, it's over the top. Short covers there for. If he was on the circle, it might have been a chance. Did just a couple of runs. Oh, could be a run out chance. Pick up the ball. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> you idiots. Anyway, Wentworth gets to his half century. Just uh, over a run of ball. Oh, ball. that's uh, very nicely done. He sort of played around the ball here. In extraordinary fashion, and it hits his leg stump, beaten in flight. It's three for 154. And an edge straight away. 
Love to slip. There's a misfield, and he's pummeled it towards the boundary. They're going to end up getting three here. Oh, I thought that was going to hit the stumps. Oh, it stumped him. Oh, he got through. Got through. Ravindra survives. Only a few overs to go here. What do you got? Six and a half overs left. 226. A much better score on a pitch that's doing a little bit more, or doing a little bit less, sorry, than the, the game before. Australia easily chasing down about 170. This one, different, difficult. A chance of a six all the way. Edged out. Huge finger going up. Little high five with uh, the captain, Philippi. Oh, chance should be out. Fielder in the deep. Underneath it, Duffy is gone. We get our third. New Zealand nine down. Oh, that's close. Very close. And that's what it looks like. It's doing just a little bit too much turn there. Oh, well, that is Shipley yorking himself. The stumps are kaput. And middle and off collected. We'll get a chance with the bat, hopefully, in this game two chase of 261. That's the second consecutive game the Kiwis have been bowled out. I genuinely don't think we need to do too much here. It's three for 249. We need 13 from the final 12 overs. That's a wide. So it's now 12 from the final 12 overs. Oh, it seems high. But it also seems monstrous. That's into that top balcony up there. Six runs. I want to see the uh, the distance on this one. This looked absolutely massive. 131. And there it could be. All over with two sixes. Didn't have to do much at all, did I? Face a couple of balls, see a couple of wides, hit a couple of sixes. All the very best. Thanks for coming. Australia win the game, win the series. A seven wicket results. Here are the two sixes in question. There's one that goes bang. And there's another that goes huge. Another player of the game worthy performance. I don't know about this one. I felt like whoever got the 90 odd probably deserved it more than me. I think I only took three wickets with the ball. Little not out performance as well. Uh, but, you know, Inglis 91, Philippine 85. Probably get the nod over me, taking four for 30. Perhaps. I'm not too sure. But uh, we've got to be player of the series. Let's have a look at some of the stats before we head into game three. Here are the player of the series things. I guess this is across everything, not just across uh, the one-day competition. Uh, with the one-day comp, here are the stats. i got 49 runs, uh, so that's probably at an average of 49. And with the ball, eight wickets for 38. An average of 4.75 and a strike rate of 8.5. It's been a nuts series. Game three, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, game number three. New Zealand have won the toss and elected to bat yet again. Gee, I thought that would have been something special if I'd managed to get across and take that sort of a catch to start off this particular innings. Uh, but with a little bit of a partnership here for the Kiwis, Cruz, Wentworth, 76 and 39, respectively, of course. What could be New Zealand's best score yet? That, I think, went into the ground, not the pad. So we're at five. Uh, oh, that's big. That's that's all the way. Six runs. Whipped. More runs. It's at least four. Yes, yeah, it's a six. This is the partnership that could get New Zealand win in this series that uh, they've been absolutely smashed in. That's four. That's uh, in the gap again. Probably another boundary. That is a chance. But it's six. Surprisingly, uh, we're not actually that highly ranked in one-day cricket. Uh, both these teams, I think, are a, just like one position from each other. Probably like seventh and eighth, their rankings. P20 we're number one. I think Test we're not number one. And New Zealand are quite low in Test, which is why 
it was quite a, a simplistic series from that point of view. Oh, actually, no, the series was like, what, 2-1 or 3-1 or 4-1? Four, four, That's actually surprising we lost the test, considering they were, they were quite low. In the, oh, it's just another battle. What am I doing in this match that I wasn't doing previously? Because I'm getting absolutely smashed. It's just completely ruined my bowling average and strike rate. There's maybe a chance. Oh, Fielder can't quite get in there. Oh, come off it. More runs. Stop giving me the ball, please. I am not working on this wicket. I mean, to be honest, I don't think many people are, but I'm going at literally 12 runs and over. Stop it. Stop bowling me. Stop it. In the last video, there was a lot of comments saying, how do you get wickets so easily? I don't know, because I've had two games of really, really strong performances, and then I've dished up this. There's a chance. And is it out? Yes, it is. Finally, this partnership gets broken. I don't know why I'm so... Oh, maybe that's relief more than anything, that celebration. It's whipped it. The man at uh, deep square leg or deep uh, fine leg takes the catch. It's uh, 3 for 308. Wentworth is out for 122. Oh, I think that's a stumping. I think absolutely this is a stumping. Hang, yep, good. Nice. Had a brain melt in the middle there. All the very best. You know, you wouldn't read about the fact that I'm about to bowl my ninth and final over here. Catch it. Oh, almost. Despite breaking the partnership, I feel like there were better ways of taking the wickets. If you dot them up, you can pressure them and take the wickets that way. Dot to finish. Can you believe it? Two for 93 <laughs> from nine overs. Awful, awful figures. New Zealand, 350. 350. And it's doable because our team is so good. What am I going to have to do? It, we need 200 in like 20 overs. All right. Fraser McGurka run a ball, 82. We're going to have to fire here. Let's see. I don't know why I'm trying to sweep. Oh, yes. Cut away. That's the sort of stuff we want to dish up in this innings. Six. Full toss. Gone. Into the side screen. Bang. Leg side gaps are everywhere if you get it over. And you can't bowl too straight, Ish Sodi. I'll do that to you. Nicely played into the gap. On the offside, another four. I've actually really enjoyed playing this T20, not T20 series, this one day series. It's a nice little change of pace from the test matches. No ball, so we'll get a free hit. But obviously it's, you know, it's good, it's different, it's unusual, as they say. It just gives us that little bit of a chance to freshen up ahead of uh, potentially an, an IPL series and then a big time Ashes saga. That's four beautifully done. Oh, I've definitely missed out on a potential six there, but we'll take four. Oh, well, at least we haven't missed out on that occasion. Duffy sent well and truly into that back building. Three for 90 after 31. Oh, yes. Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on. Yes, it is six. Okay, 200 is up. Yeah, I'm actually very excited for this, this Ashes series coming up. I'm excited for a lot of things, actually, this cricket season. Not just in our virtual cricket career mode world, where we've got an Ashes series, we've got an IPL series. But, you know, we've got a, uh, what is it, a one-day series against Pakistan coming up as Australia. Well, so I'll be playing through those. I'm going to play, um, I'm going to try and attend a couple of, uh, well, at least the first ODI they played at the MCG in a couple of weeks' time. It's on a Monday. Oh, that's a whole Monday activity for me. Another boundary. Move towards 48. Up and over and there's 50. But yeah, sorry, as I was rambling, I was talking about uh, the, the what series we've got coming up and, and I guess what you can look forward to from me uh, over the next little period of time is we've got the the IPL, the, the Ashes, is, is how we finish off our career mode. 
see all the uh, beautiful shots played in this innings. Uh, and then I'll, I'll do follow. I'll follow the Australian team through the summer as they take on Pakistan uh, in some limited overs games before we take on India. So it's exciting. Uh, one thing we actually never did in this career mode is play Big Bash because the timing of it just never worked. I think we were always playing for the Australian team uh, while we while we got to the Australian summer. So we never actually played any Big Bash cricket. And that in there lies one of the big problems with the Big Bash uh, is its scheduling. Because it does mean that so many of the superstar Australian players don't actually play in the premier local T20 competition because they're too busy, uh, you know, with the Australian Test Summer, which is, of course, fair enough. Um, but it does mean you don't get the full array of star power in that series there is a third consecutive boundary with the same shot to end the over three for 226 all of a sudden this chase is looking barely doable there's no reason for me to ever get out that's actually mistimed that's just the four not the six we were hoping for you reckon we could beat him to 100 we've only faced 31 balls but we're on 71 He's playing the anchor innings. He's dropped the bat and said, uh, or dropped the anchor and said, I'm going to be here till the end. All right. Well, I'm going to smash it. Yep. Every chance of getting this chase. You just let me do what I need to do. Wide rate is 8.62. I think we've been getting there quite comfortably. Still another 112 runs. Yep. This match. There's another boundary. Using the pace of Fraser. Short, pulled, chance, but six. Short again, and this time, pummeled towards mid-wicket for another six. Now, I said, could we beat Fraser McGurk to 100? It's a genuine chance now. 20 off the over. Up and over the offside. Is it six more? Four. It's four. We're going to go to 96 from 38. What is this innings? It's incredible. Also, uh, I did see... Uh, well, we haven't beaten Fraser McGurk. He's gone absolutely ham the last couple of overs. There's our 100 now. With a four of our own, we get there in 41 balls. 16 fours, five sixes. Incredible stuff. I did see... Uh, who was it? Zimbabwe? Scored like 340 or something. And there's a chance of uh, potentially being out. I think it's going to be a, a boundary. Uh, we did our challenge the other the other week of India getting 280 something, two not 297. Wait. That's a chance and taken. So we're going to fall. Australia only needs 62 from 52. And of course, me being distracted by talking about Zimbabwe's massive score is what uh, is our own undoing. It's four for two nine two. Tim David in next, but let's just quickly talk about this. Um, Sikander Raza, as we said, one thirty three not from forty three, striking at over three hundred. Absurd. Uh, Maramani made sixty two from nineteen again, striking at over three hundred. Three forty four in a T twenty. Who are they playing? Gambia. So. Potentially another challenge for us on the cards of trying to break the T20 record of 344. What is that in runs per over? Let's do the math. 344 divided by 20. 17.2 runs and over you need. That's insane. How did they do that? I don't think even I could do that for a full match. Anyway, we're going to go on and win this is what it looks like. I'll win the third consecutive player of the match, which means, of course, I've got to be the player of the series. We win this series 3-0, uh, and I will be sleeping, according to my interview there. Uh, but a good series results under the captaincy of Josh Philippi. And you can see there, 105 from 43, giving us a great result. We got there with an over and a bit to spare. Uh, who did the finishing job for us? Tim David, 23 from 20, and Agar, 4 from 2. As well as Cameron Green, 29 from 16. That was actually quite a handy knock to get us there and over the line. Well done to Australia. A 3-0 result here against the Kiwis. What's next? Just want to look at some of the numbers. 
some of the numbers here. 38 wickets across the series for me at an average of 10, even though we went at like 10s in that last game. Uh, look at the rating, though, for player of the series. Or double and more of the next best player, which is quite absurd. Um, obviously, we won all of those one-dayers. In the one-dayers, we were the fourth highest run scorer, the second highest for Australia, with a 154, including that big 100 in there. There was a nod out as well, so average 77 across that. I think we're actually in good form. I, I, can, I think I can convincingly say we are in good form. So where do we stand? Uh, we obviously skipped the T20 series against New Zealand. We're going to then play uh, the IPL series. We're going to be the captain as well now. So we, we're going to get to make some changes here. Uh, and we are playing for... Who are we playing for? The Gujarat Titans, which is great news. Uh, and uh, obviously there's 14 games involved in that before we hit our five-match Ashes series, which is going to be our big finale for our career mode. Can we win it back? I expect the IPL is probably only going to be a couple of episodes, maybe like two or three. We're going to try and fly through the games uh, before we get to that Ashes series. So thanks, everyone, for watching. I hope you've been enjoying the series so far. Apologies if it has been a little bit inconsistent of late, um, but I will try to finish it off nice and strong and consistent with a couple of videos a week. So have a great day, everyone. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.